been in Washington a while. I, I certainly have. I've never seen anything really like the Democratic version of this bill. It, it almost read like a parody. And again, I'm not being partisan here. I'm being sincere. Do, did they think that this was going to be enacted into law? Do they believe that mandating diversity officers in corporate America is an appropriate response to coronavirus? What is this? I, I think that they think that they have the Republicans over a barrel and the president. Uh, you know, reality calls and Congress is hanging up. Um, I meant what I said on the floor, Tucker. Yeah. Um, more charitable Americans are thinking to themselves, well, there's some good members of Congress, but we can't figure out what they're good for. Uh, less charitable Americans are saying, you know, how did these morons make it through the birth canal? I, I mean, people are losing their jobs. They're losing their savings. They're losing the 401k. We, we think we know how to get the economy back on its feet over the next 60 to 90 days until we can get control of the virus. And uh, some of my colleagues, I, they're acting like a-holes. I'm sorry, I'm not saying they mean to, but nonetheless, they're killing it. They're, they're just throwing in every, every special interest, um, uh, po political want, not need, thinking that they can ram it through but because we're too scared to vote against it. And it's just wrong, man. It's just wrong. But it's also counterproductive. I mean, this isn't renaming a post office. This is something of real interest to the whole country, and people are paying attention. Did they think that no one was going to notice what was in the bill? I, I, I don't know. I'm not sure they're thinking at all. I mean, I saw a, 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 a press conference by the speaker, and I'm, I mean no disrespect to her, but basically she was saying she wants President Trump to come out and endorse Obamacare. Now, that's not going to happen. You know that, and I know that. They, they have provisions. You, well, you did a good job in your commentary. Corporate board diversity, diversity uh, same-day election registration, wind cre tax credits, solar tax credits. I, I mean, this stuff, it, it, it's basically they want the Green New Deal. And they're saying, if, if you Republicans don't endorse it, we're going to strangle the American people economically. Now, look, for a small segment of our population, it's true, the coronavirus can kill you for a small segment. But you know what else can kill you? Poverty, hunger, um, uh, losing the entire economy. And, and we, we, we need to stop thinking about the next election and try to think a little more about the next generation and what we're going to leave to yeah. them, which is going to be the little end of nothing if we let this economy collapse. And it's avoidable. We can stand it back up, but we don't have, we don't have uh, months to do it. We've got days. It does seem that way. It does feel like we've got days. I. I agree with that. Senator, thanks so much for coming on tonight and assessing this abomination. And it really is an abomination for those it who are ready to. It beats anything I've ever seen. Thanks, Tucker.